A geographic coordinate system is a coordinate system that enables every location on the Earth to be specified by a set of numbers or letters, or symbols. The coordinates are often chosen such that one of the numbers represents vertical position, and two or three of the numbers represent horizontal position. A common choice of coordinates is latitude, longitude and elevation. To specify a location on a two-dimensional map requires a map projection. History The invention of a geographic coordinate system is generally credited to Eratosthenes of Cyrene, who composed his now-lost geography at the Library of Alexandria in the 3rd century BC. A century later, Hippicus of Nicaea improved upon his system by determining latitude from stellar measurements rather than solar altitude and determining longitude by using simultaneous timing of lunar eclipses rather than dead reckoning. In the 1st or 2nd century, Marinus of Tyre compiled an extensive gazetteer and mathematically plotted world map, using coordinates measured east from a prime meridian at the Fortunate Isles of Western Africa and measured north or south of the island of Rhodes. Off Asia Minor, Ptolemy credited him with the full adoption of longitude and latitude, rather than measuring latitude in terms of the length of the midsummer day. Ptolemy's second century geography used the same prime meridian but measured latitude from the equator instead, after their work was translated into Arabic in the 9th century. Al Khwarizmi's book of the description of the Earth corrected Marinus and Ptolemy's errors regarding the length of the Mediterranean Sea, causing medieval Arabic cartography to use a prime meridian around 10 degrees east of Ptolemy's line. Mathematical cartography resumed in Europe following Maximus Planudes's recovery of Ptolemy's text a little before 1300. The text was translated into Latin at Florence by Jacobus Angelus around 1407. In 1884, the United States hosted the International Meridian Conference and 25 nations attended. 22 of them agreed to adopt the longitude of the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, England, as the zero reference line. The Dominican Republic voted against the motion, while France and Brazil abstained. France adopted Greenwich Mean Time in place of local determinations by the Paris Observatory in 1911. Geographic Latitude and Longitude the latitude of a point on the Earth's surface is the angle between the equatorial plane and the straight line that passes through that point and through the center of the Earth. Lines joining points of the same latitude trace circles on the surface of the Earth called parallels, as they are parallel to the equator and to each other. The North Pole is 90 degrees north, the South Pole is 90 degrees south. The zero degrees parallel of latitude is designated the equator, the fundamental plane of all geographic coordinate systems. The equator divides the globe into northern and southern hemispheres. The longitude of a point on the Earth's surface is the angle east or west from a reference meridian to another meridian that passes through that point. All meridians are halves of great ellipses, which converge at the north and south poles. The meridian of the British Royal Observatory in Greenwich, a little east of London, England, is the international prime meridian, although some organizations, such as the French Institut Géographique National, continue to use other meridians for internal purposes. The prime meridian determines the proper eastern and western hemispheres. Although maps often divide these hemispheres further west in order to keep the old world on a single side, the antipodal meridian of Greenwich is both 180 degrees west and 180 degrees east. This is not to be conflated with the international date line, which diverges from it in several places for political reasons including between Far East and Russia and the Far Western Aleutian Islands. The combination of these two components specifies the position of any location on the surface of the Earth without consideration of altitude or depth. The grid thus formed by latitude and longitude is known as the graticule. The zero, zero point of this system is located in the Gulf of Guinea about 625 kilometers south of Tima, Ghana, measuring height using datums. 
complexity of the problem to completely specify a location of a topographical feature on, in, or above the Earth. One has to also specify the vertical distance from the center of the Earth, or from the surface of the Earth. The Earth is not a sphere, but an irregular shape approximating a biaxial ellipsoid. It is nearly spherical, but has an equatorial bulge making the radius at the equator about 0.3% larger than the radius measured through the poles. The shorter axis approximately coincides with axis of rotation. Though early navigators thought of the sea as a flat surface that could be used as a vertical datum, this is not actually the case. The Earth has a series of layers of equal potential energy within its gravitational field. Height is a measurement at right angles to this surface, roughly toward the center of the Earth but local variations make the equipotential layers irregular. The choice of which layer to use for defining height is arbitrary. Common baselines Common height baselines include the surface of the datum ellipsoid, resulting in an ellipsoidal height. The mean sea level is described by the gravity geoid, yielding the orthometric height. A vertical datum, yielding a dynamic height relative to a known reference height. Along with the latitude and longitude, the height provides the three-dimensional geodetic coordinates or geographic coordinates for a location. Datums in order to be unambiguous about the direction of vertical and the surface above which they are measuring. Map makers choose a reference ellipsoid with a given origin and orientation that best fits their need for the area they are mapping. They then choose the most appropriate mapping of the spherical coordinate system onto that ellipsoid, called a terrestrial reference system or geodetic datum. Datums may be global, meaning that they represent the whole Earth, or they may be local, meaning that they represent a best-fit ellipsoid to only a portion of the Earth. Points on the Earth's surface move relative to each other due to continental plate motion, subsidence and diurnal movement caused by the moon and the tides. The daily movement can be as much as a meter. Continental movement can be up to 10 centimeters a year, or 10 meters in a century. A weather system high pressure area can cause a sinking of 5 millimeters. Scandinavia is rising by 1 centimeter a year as a result of the melting of the ice sheets of the last ice age but neighboring Scotland is rising by only 0.2 cm. These changes are insignificant if a local datum is used, but are statistically significant if a global datum is used. Examples of global datums include World Geodetic System, the default datum used for Global Positioning System and the International Terrestrial Reference Frame used for estimating continental drift and crustal deformation. The distance to Earth's center can be used both for very deep positions and for positions in space. Local datums chosen by a national cartographical organization include the North American datum, the European ED-50, and the British OSGB-36. Given a location, the datum provides the latitude and longitude. In the United Kingdom there are three common latitude, longitude, height systems in use. WGS-84 differs at Greenwich from the one used on published maps OSGB-36 by approximately 112 meters. The military system ED-50, used by NATO, differs by about 120 meters to 180 meters. The latitude and longitude on a map made against a local data may not be the same as on a GPS receiver. Coordinates from the mapping system can sometimes be roughly changed into another datum using a simple translation. For example, to convert from ETRF 89 to the Irish grid add 49 meters to the east and subtract 23.4 meters from the north. More generally one datum is changed into any other datum using a process called Helmert transformations. This involves converting the spherical coordinates into Cartesian coordinates and applying a seven-parameter transformation, and converting back 
In popular GIS software, data projected in latitude, longitude is often represented as a geographic coordinate system. For example, data in latitude, longitude if the datum is the North American datum of 1983 is denoted by GCS North American 1983. Map Projection to establish the position of a geographic location on a map, a map projection is used to convert geodesic coordinates to two-dimensional coordinates on a map. It projects the datum ellipsoidal coordinates and height onto a flat surface of a map. The datum, along with the map projection applied to a grid of reference locations, establishes a grid system for plotting locations. Common map projections in current use include the Universal Transverse Mercator, the Military Grid Reference System, the United States National Grid, the Global Area Reference System and the World Geographic Reference System. Coordinates on a map are usually in terms northing N and easting E offsets relative to a specified origin. Usually associated with a map projection is a natural origin at which the ellipsoid and flat map surfaces coincide. To ensure that the northing and easting coordinates on a map are not negative, map projections may set up false northing and false easting values that offset the true northing and easting values. Map projection formulas depend in the geometry of the projection as well as parameters dependent on the particular location at which the map is projected. The set of parameters can vary based on type of project and the conventions chosen for the projection. For the transverse Mercator projection used in UTM, the parameters associated are the latitude and longitude of the natural origin, the false northing and false easting, and an overall scale factor 9 to 10 given the parameters associated with particular location or grin. The projection formulas for the transverse Mercator are a complex mix of algebraic and trigonometric functions, 4554 5, 4, UTM and UPS systems the Universal Transverse Mercator and Universal Polar Stereographic Coordinate Systems both use a metric-based Cartesian grid laid out on a conformally projected surface to locate positions on the surface of the Earth. The UTM system is not a single map projection but a series of 60, each covering 6 degree bands of longitude. The UPS system is used for the polar regions, which are not covered by the UTM system. Stereographic coordinate system During medieval times, the stereographic coordinate system was used for navigation purposes. The stereographic coordinate system was superseded by the latitude-longitude system, although no longer used in navigation. The stereographic coordinate system is still used in modern times to describe crystallographic orientations in the fields of crystallography, mineralogy and material science. Cartesian coordinates Every point that is expressed in ellipsoidal coordinates can be expressed as an rectilinear xyz coordinate. Cartesian coordinates simplify many mathematical calculations. The Cartesian systems of different datums are not equivalent. Earth-centered, Earth-fixed The Earth-centered Earth-fixed rotates with the Earth and has its origin at the center of the Earth. The conventional right-handed coordinate system puts the origin at the center of mass of the Earth, a point close to the Earth's center of figure. The z-axis on the line between the north and south poles, with positive values increasing northward. The x and y axis in the plane of the equator. The x axis passing through extending from 180 degrees longitude at the equator to 0 degrees longitude at the equator. The y axis passing through extending from 90 degrees west longitude at the equator to 90 degrees east longitude at the equator. An example is the NGS data for a brass disc near Donner Summit in California. Given the dimensions of the ellipsoid, the conversion from lat, lon, height above ellipsoid coordinates to xyz is straightforward. Calculate the xyz for the given lat, lon on the surface of the ellipsoid and add the xyz vector that is perpendicular to the ellipsoid there and has length equal to the point's height above the ellipsoid. The reverse conversion is harder. 
Given x, y, z, we can immediately get longitude, but no closed formula for latitude and height exists. C. Geodetic system. Using Boring's formula in 1976 survey review the first iteration gives latitude correct within 1011 degree as long as the point is within 10,000 meters above or 5,000 meters below the ellipsoid. Local east, north, up coordinates in many targeting and tracking applications the local east, north. Up Cartesian coordinate system is far more intuitive and practical than ECEF or geodetic coordinates. The local ENU coordinates are formed from a plane tangent to the Earth's surface fixed to a specific location and hence it is sometimes known as a local tangent or local geodetic plane. By convention the east axis is labeled the north and the up local north, east, down coordinates in an airplane, most objects of interest are below the aircraft, so it is sensible to define down as a positive number. The north, east, down coordinates allow this as an alternative to the ENU local tangent plane. By convention, the north axis is labeled the east and the down to avoid confusion between in, etc. In this web page we will restrict the local coordinate frame to ENU, expressing latitude and longitude as linear units. On the GRS-80 or WGS-84 spheroid at sea level at the equator, one latitudinal second measures 30.715 meters. One latitudinal minute is 1843 meters and one latitudinal degree is 110.6 kilometers. On the equator at sea level, one longitudinal second measures 30.92 meters. A longitudinal minute is 1855 meters and a longitudinal degree is 111.3 kilometers. At 30 degrees a longitudinal second is 26.76 meters, at Greenwich 19.22 meters, and at 60 degrees it is 15.42 meters. On the WGS-84 spheroid, the length in meters of a degree of latitude at latitude 5 degrees to degrees is about similarly. The length in meters of a degree of longitude can be calculated as an alternative method to estimate the length of a longitudinal degree at latitude, is to assume a spherical Earth, where Earth's average meridional radius is 6,367,449 meters. Since the Earth is not spherical that result can be off by several tenths of a percent. A better approximation of a longitudinal degree at latitude is where her Earth's equatorial radius equals 6,378,137 meters and for the GRS-80 and WGS-84 spheroids. B. A calculates to be 0.996664719. Latitude. Aside from rounding, this is the exact distance along a parallel of latitude. Getting the distance along the shortest route will be more work. But those two distances are always within 0.6 meter of each other if the two points are one degree of longitude apart. Geostationary coordinates. Geostationary satellites are over the equator at a specific point on Earth, so their position related to Earth is expressed in longitude degrees only. Their latitude is always zero, that is, over the equator. On other celestial bodies, similar coordinate systems are defined for other celestial bodies such as a similarly well-defined system based on the reference ellipsoid for Mars. Selenographic coordinates for the Moon, 